the last two one video I swear <laughs> right we're almost done so um real quick we're we're pretty much done with the Excel portion of it I'm, I'm gonna move this pie chart over a little bit I guess I could move it down so it's not blocking that um, graph right there I could just move this one down you could make it for um, plain you could have made it for peanut whichever I want to ring around the whole thing because I don't like how the yellow is showing up like that so I'm gonna write or click on any region but not on a name because then it'll click on the names and then right click so hold on, click oops I clicked too many times cancel hold on. click so that all of them are ringed see the dots around the whole thing right click format data series series means the whole thing I'm gonna add a border color I'm gonna add a solid line close and then it added lines to it that's just me I like it all right, we're all done with the making the pie chart. Now we just have to answer questions about it. So what percentages of the M&Ms are either red or green? Well, red is 15, green is 12. So you'd add 15% plus 12%, which makes 27%. Oops, I don't want all that. All right, I want the answer underlined. All right, what do the percentages in the pie chart must add up to? Well, 100%, right? because you've got every single color covered, right? There is no color that isn't taken care of in this. Suppose the distribution in the pie chart, I mean, the distribution in the pie chart is for a bag with 400 M&Ms. So pretend these percentages were for a bag of 400, something you get from Sam's Club, some huge bag. How many of these would be blue? Okay, well, 17% was blue, right? 400 M&Ms Oh my goodness, I must press cap lock. M&M's total. Okay, this isn't the answer. I'm just writing out the work for it. So how we figure out how many? So how many? Question mark. You take 17%, oh my gosh, 17%, thank you, and you times it by 400. And of course, in math class, you learn you don't really multiply percents like that. You change it to its decimal, which would be 0.17, multiply it by 400. And the beautiful thing is you can make Excel do this, which I showed in an earlier video, but you just click on any empty cell equals 0 0.17 times 400. Enter. 68. And yeah, you could type it in a calculator as well if you had one. There you go. And that's my answer, so I'm going to underline it. All right, now I swear we are finished with 2-1. So hopefully you've learned a lot about working with Excel, making Excel make tables, making it having it make charts, and you've learned a lot about changing colors and organizing your Excel spreadsheet to make it pretty and using Excel to do simple things. Plus you've learned all of these definitions about bar charts, burrito charts, side-by-side -side bar graphs, and so on. And you've learned how useful and valuable they can be and how much information you can gather. I just want to mention real quickly at the end, um, I know that I'm using Excel 2010 for all of this. There are ways to make other Excel programs do it as well, like Excel 2007 or Excel XP. I can't remember all the numbers. Um, but the menu system might be slightly different. 2007 works a lot like this one, but before that it has a different menu system. So you might want to check out your help menu. It'll look like a little circle with a question mark. Let's say you want to look up pie chart. You can um, click on the little help menu and type in pie chart and there should be instructions. Another thing you could do would be to go to YouTube or something like that and type um, pie chart uh, Excel 2003 or something like that. Sorry, that's my YouTube channel. But you could type pie chart Excel 2003 instructions and see what you get. All right. All right. We are all done with 2-1. I will see you back here for 2-2. I know you can't wait. Neither can I.